I am Tessa Marie and welcome to the Morning Blessings. It is Monday, October 28th, 2024, 7.59 a.m. And we are here for the Morning Blessings. How are you feeling today? It's a cold morning, but of course it's fall, so the weather always goes cold. It is amazing to be alive and to have a chance to do better than we did yesterday. That's what it's all about, being able to wake up, feel the floor beneath our feet, feel our breath coursing through our body, feel our hair, our heartbeat, and know that we are here to do it again, to do it better this time. So do not look back at what happened before. Stay focused on the moment now that we can do better than we did yesterday. So, here we are. And the morning blessing is, all that you do or you don't do is progression. Good morning, Nancy. How are you feeling this morning? I hope you're feeling better today um, than you did yesterday because today we are given an opportunity to do better than we did yesterday. So thank you for joining. You are number one. Everybody is enjoying the cold weather. Yeah, all that you do or do not do is progression. Progression is in, in whatever we, wherever we are, there's progression. It never stops. So many times though, we figure if we stop doing what we know we should do, that it's not going to move. It will not progress. Nothing is progressing. That is true of the thing you want to do. Good morning, Loretta. How are you feeling this morning? But there comes a time that we have to look at where we are in our life and realize that no matter how we go about being, we are progressing. And I said, whether you do or you don't do, you're still progressing. If you choose to stop doing, then you will still progress. Doing results in progression in both positive and negative. But the thing we forget to, good morning Colleen, how are you feeling today? That when we stop, things are still progressing. Even if we were to sit all day in one position and never move, things are still progressing. Even if we stood before the challenge that awaits us every day, and it might be that it's just challenges and challenges in our life sometimes. And even if we do not move or we look at it and we just stand there, we're still progressing. So that's why progression is so powerful. It doesn't matter where we are, what we do, how we think, where we behave, progression. The choice though is always ours. We have a choice every day to choose to keep progressing, actually progressing beyond the time that passes by. Time progresses because yesterday was the 27th of October. Today is the 28th. So that tells me that time progressed. Now, if, I had, if we choose to sit in that one solid place and do not move, we are still allowing progression to go. Whether we do or we don't do, progression moves on. The choice, though, is ours. We have a choice. Every morning when we wake up to progress, every day when we woke up to progress in the area we decide, excuse me, we should go. So knowing that, why is it we decide to sit in the nothingness of not taking action towards progression? The thing is, it's our mind. We allow what is happening outside of us, what we see, that is happening outside of us to affect us. Yes, it's chilly. Oh, guys, I don't know if you guys know. 
you remember Lynn? I forgot to announce it. Stacy, too. <laughs> it's just one after the other here. Lynn, that used to come to the morning blessing, you know, she had a massive stroke. And I think Nancy said she passed away on Thursday afternoon. So Nancy is here, even the Juliana Brown, as her friend. And she, Lynn was the one who introduced the morning blessings to, to Nancy. And they were very good friends. And Nancy and Lynn passed on Thursday afternoon. Now, this morning, I got a message from Stacy. Her 23-year-old cousin died from an as from asthma attack. And the... And her, her cousin's family are orthodox, orthodox Jews, so they're doing the morning where they just sit. So she won't be with us for a few days. So you see, the, the, the progression ties in with some of our experiences, whether we know it or not. When we think of what's going on in our life, good morning, Kimberly, how are you feeling today? So both Nancy and Stacy are experiencing the pain of losing somebody they, they love. Nancy, her friend Lynn, who came to see us on the morning blessing. Stacy, her cousin, who is 20, who was 23 and passed away because of asthma. Um, the Willie Nelson is the one that I quote when I say, um, regret is etched on my brow and I can't do anything about it now. So progression, though, is not standing still. Progression, real true progression, is making the effort to take action. Hello, how are you feeling today? Good morning. Assu making an assumption that you, do, you believe your friend is too busy to accept your message or your phone call is also progression. Although you didn't do anything, Although you did not progress towards calling your friend, calling her family and saying, how is my cousin doing? Although we didn't do, we don't do those things because we assume and we make assumptions. This person has too much on their plate. They do not have time to hear me. That is still progression because life goes on. Things move. People move into another realm and that's progression. How do you feel with the regret that I should have reached out and just checked in? I had an inclination to call and I didn't. When you are standing silently in the funeral home or at the church, you're not crying, but you have that pensive, deep feeling on your face. Nobody knows your thoughts. And that thought is the regret of not having taken progressive action to say, hi, how are you feeling today? I was thinking of you. Progression. So we choose not to do it. And the only person dealing with it is us. We are the only one with that pain in our mind. When everybody else maybe has a word to say, we go silently and we stand and we look at the casket and we say we are sorry. Yet, the poet said to me and to all of us, give me the rose when I can smell it. All the hundreds and thousands of roses that you send to the funeral does not affect that person. No, it's already lit. They cannot see your smile. They cannot hear your voice. So all of that is progression. You let the time go by, progress on in the way it is supposed to go, and you stood still in the moment, and now you're facing the time of regret. All of these are the choices we make. And we have to remember, when I say and I talk to you guys, I talk from what happens around me, experiences, observations of others. I spend a lot of time listening. Even if I talk 10,000 miles a minute, I still hear, I listen, and I observe. I feel. So from that, I can come out and tell you. It's like a precursor. It's your prerequisite to live a fulfilled life that you get some, okay, 
It's just a little tiny nugget Tessa gave me today. It's just a black pearl. It's in my hand, it's moving. I do not know what to do with it, but I know I should keep it. It's a lovely pink Canadian diamond. That is my aha moment for today. Good morning, Arita. How are you feeling today? Thought of you this morning. So when we sit back and we have this thing to do and we stop because we have made an assumption why bother Tessa Marie by calling her? Why bother Kimberly or Rita calling or Loretta or Nancy? Why bother them? They're so busy. The thing is, when a thought comes, it's an inspiration. That inspiration is to enable us to live a fulfilled life. A fulfilled life is not standing at your friend's family or whoever cassette, cas casket and wishing and regretting the times you could have called and not called. Progression also is choosing to see the big tall mountain in front of you that is a challenge in your life. And standing there and waiting and thinking, I am not going to do this. Somebody else will benefit from it. That type of talk is also progression. Whether you do it or you don't do it, it is still progressing. So you might as well choose to do it. When the person you think of shows up in your mind, do this. So can you talk about that? Thank you. <laughs> I love that. So one of the things we have to realize for sure is that the progression of life is something that goes on, whether we are part of it or taking some of it. We have to realize that it doesn't matter where we are sitting on the edge and watching the world go by, we are still part of it. Choosing not to take action because it might benefit somebody else is still progression. Choosing to take action because it benefits somebody else is also progression. Neither of them are bound to come back to you to say thank you. That's the reason why people stop taking progression. I am not going to help them because they never say thank you. I am going to help them so they can say thank you. They're both wrong. That is not how it works. If you have the ability to serve or to help or to direct or to encourage or to enlighten or to empower or to enhance, good morning, Georgie, how are you feeling today? Somebody else, you must do it. Progression is doing it. Because you see, when you do it, do not expect the people that you gave all your attention to, to come back and help you. It is not their responsibility towards you. Your cup is full of knowledge. Your cup is full of experiences. Your cup knows that Tessa Marie does the morning blessing at 8 a.m. But you don't want your friend to come to it. Because unlike Lynn, you didn't know what to do, but Lynn did. She said to Nancy, go, go to go and he, come hear this person speak. Today, Lynn is not with Nancy anymore. She passed away on Thursday afternoon, right? What about if Nancy had, if Lynn had always thought that she wanted to introduce Nancy to the morning blessing and she held it back because I don't want her to get what I'm getting. That's also progression. Because when you have that attitude, you have just blocked your own flow. When you do not share the wisdom, the knowledge, the experiences, the understanding, whatever you have with somebody else, you are blocking your flow. But the miracle happens when you open your jar and you empty all what you know into somebody else holding nothing back. Guess what? The universe, if that's what you believe, I believe in a God. The universe 
my God fills my jar up again and again and again. My cup runneth over so I can pour it into somebody else. That's progression. Progression is sitting with the knowledge you have and not sharing it too. I said progression works both ways. Both ways. What you don't give, when you don't open your mouth, we all know the breath in the morning, although we know it's good for our stomach. That's what happens. But when you deliver your best to those that are around you, you're going to get that over and over. That is not a promise. It's a guarantee. You are blessed with wisdom and knowledge. Empty it. Give the information out with no strings attached. And let that person soar. So they too now will pour their gifts into somebody else. So do not expect when your progression is to give and to donate and to help and to enhance and to support and to be emphatic and give some empathy, some sympathy, some joy, a good laugh. When that comes to that and you hold it back, that's progression because the world will go along. And be careful where you're standing when your memory hits you in the face and says, you should have done that. Is it the casket you're looking at? When my parents died, I did not cry. I, had, I just did not cry. I remember when my mom was, when she was, she had a very short three, four days and she was gone. My sister left New York like and took off to Dominica. She said, aren't you coming? I said, no. I didn't, it's not because I didn't want to see my mother. I just knew I shouldn't go at that time. So fast forward, she went and then she called me and everything when my mom passed and she said, can you do some shopping? I think we need to get mom a different dress and da da da. I said, okay, that's my part to play. So Brian and I went and did it. And of course, then I went home. I didn't cry. And somebody looked at me and said, why aren't you crying? And I just, my cousin. And I'm looking at my father, at that time it was my cousin Ioni from New York. I said to her, well, you see Ioni, I have no unfinished business with that man. Everything I had to tell him and do for him, I did. And I said that to my another cousin in Dominica that said, you're not crying and your mom died. If it was me, I'd be screaming. I said, what for? I have nothing to tell her. I spoke to her every day. Sometimes the phone call in those old old days would be like a mortgage payment. $800 phone bill was not uncommon because there wasn't all this magic we have now. So that's what I am asking you to do. Talk to those you know you should speak with. Do not expect them to phone you. If they don't phone, that's their business. Do your best and progress. If nobody supports you, that's also their business. Know that what you do, God repays you. I guarantee you that. If you don't believe in God and you haven't gotten it, then look closer. Can you walk? You don't always get paid with the same coins you hand out. You know that. When we pay with money, they give us different change. When we pay and we buy something, it's not looking like what we gave them. It's we buy bread, we get bread. But when, hi sister, but when we pay, how are you feeling today? And we get bread, we paid with coins. So the thing about it is that pro progress, progression is up to you because the world will progress in whatever where it has to go. What did they say? The, the universe unfold or something. There was a song like that. The age of Aquarius, whatever that is. Remember. So what I'm saying to you this morning is this. It doesn't matter whether you choose to progress or you choose not to progress. You choose not to open your mind and to learn and to believe there are other things because there are other modalities. That's the word we're looking for. There are other modalities than the modalities that you know. And 
when they invented the telephone, the man had a can and a string. I don't know. Right? You had to go through a, an operator to make a call. She could listen. Look at where we are today. That is progression. If they had stopped progressing, we wouldn't have an iPhone. And I couldn't be here talking to you. You can see me. You can hear me. And I can know you're here because things change. You're writing. So that is the same thing to the person that has a closed mind. What we know today, or what we were taught all those years ago, we have to build on it, and that is progression. Whether we choose to build on knowledge or not, it still progresses, you know, in spite of our attitude towards progression. When you do not do it so you can get even with somebody who stepped on your toe and hurt you, you are also progressing with anger and hate. And we all know where anger and hate lies, the vessel gets corroded. Corrosion is not pretty. So we might as well accept others with wisdom and knowledge different from us and let them be. But when you're fighting with somebody to change their opinion, you're not helping you or them. You say what you have to say, not insulting, but, and you walk away. What did Mahatma Gandhi say? Be the change you want to see. So if you want things to progress, guess what? You have to step in the arena. You have to do what it is you desire to do in spite of who else is in the arena with you. Simple as that. Choice. Progression is also standing still and watching the world go by. You will stand there and you will not succeed. You will stand there and you will wonder why, why, uh, why are they doing so much better than me? Because one thing for sure, they kept progressing in spite of the challenges that life put in front of them. We cannot look at a challenge of life and say, I'm not doing anything in this. I'm going to just let it go. I'm tired. I'm frustrated. I've given up. And then what else? What, well, what else? When you give up, what else? So maybe when it comes to the point that you're feeling, I am giving up, check to see how much you put in your mouth. Did you bite out more than you can chew? As I said, so many human beings are inspired in this world and their inspiration comes in words, in songs, in attitudes, in, the, in, in um, you know, exploration, in creating, in, in doing all kinds of exquisite things, right? What did Paul Anker say when he wrote that song, I Did It My Way? He gave it to Frank Sinatra to sing but it was meant it for him. Now, is that song important today? Of course it is. It's always going to be important. To be important. I did it my way. And that is pure satisfaction. And that is allowing the creative you to come through. You cannot be a carbon copy of somebody else. And we need to progress our way. Progression is in our way. What did my dad say to me? When you take advice from somebody you know that is more stupid than you, you're really in trouble. You already know. You look at them. They had and maybe had opportunities you didn't have. And they didn't take it. And today, they are make, telling you what choices you should make. And you go with it because you choose not to do it your way. You choose not to stand up and say, no, I have a better way to progress and to move and to get to where I desire to be. We came alone. And you, when you show up alone, that means you have to figure this out. I can give you some advice to cause you to think. I can ask you not to use words that are going to keep you back. 
I can ask you not to form opinions of others from the surface. Get into the book and open the pages and read the book. Again, they told us, do not judge a book by the cover. It's they're not only talking about a book. They're talking about everything. Do not just look at that dish that was prepared and say, oh, that's terrible. Test it. It's a new flavor. Try it. You see, we need to accept things from others and see it through their eye for a moment. Just for a moment. And that's why I say when you use, my mom said the word hate is guttural. She didn't say the word guttural. She said it's close to your chest. It's close. What is next in your chest? It's your heart. She said it is too difficult a word to say, to use. So often stop using it. It, it, it keeps you down. It flattens you. And that is what we have to watch. Progression is in everything we do. Learn. Take a little bit from everybody and create your own sauce. A recipe is never a recipe with one thing. You have the fish or you have a steak. A choice. How are you going to cook it? What are you going to put in it? You have to get ingredients. It's a recipe. So is life. Life is a recipe. You choose the ingredients you want in your own life. Nobody else can give you those ingredients. Take a little and say, you know, this person spoke today. I heard this one and she gave me just enough. It's a tiny little nugget. But really, if you do not have, haven't seen a golden nugget, go and Google it. It's not smooth. But it's a nugget all the same. It has crevices. And each crevice has a miracle. Is it easy to get in and out of the crevices? No, it's not. But you know there's something in there. And you want to go for it. A black pearl hmm, comes in different sizes. So Kimberly happens to get a tiny black pearl and Don got a bigger one and Loretta got another one. And each of you, the pearl is different. And the pearls are not round, are they? They're shaped differently. Does that mean they're not valuable? They're value for you because what can you get from that black pearl you just got? A Canadian, rare pink Canadian diamond. Different shapes. Different clarity. That's what makes it all unique. This piece, this piece of thing that can cut through glass, that was formed under pressure. Hey, are you being formed under pressure right now? If you are being formed under the challenges and pressure of life right now, just think for a moment how valuable you are. Your experiences of, let me see if I can get that, 72 years, this is 62 years ago. You had a terrible experience and you're sitting at 80 and you're wondering, what can I do with that? You can tell somebody to be aware of the mistake you made. What about that success you had 72 years ago when you got, were the first person in your class? You got this, you had all these honors and medals and certificates. And can you tell somebody, hey, keep, go, keep going? Because I know diamonds are formed under pressure. It takes a diver special equipment to go into the Pacific Ocean, South Pacific, and dive into the water. They, they go there, find that oyster, rip its mouth open while they're there, or bring it up in a bag on the back, float back up, put it in a boat, and then break each one, each little pearl, carefully, shell of that oyster, carefully, to find the pearl. 
right? But what happens when that one particular diver comes back up with a black pearl? Did he go deeper, maybe? Did he study the shell of a previous black pearl, maybe? But he saw it. He took it. And maybe that is the only one he got that day. And somebody looked at him and said, you didn't progress well today, how did you? You only came up with one oyster. Maybe he's fired from the diving company or the, because you only got one. And maybe something in him made him feel bold and he said, you know what, I'm going to keep my oyster and I'm quitting. Or maybe he walked away in anger and left his oyster there. And somebody came around took it, cracked it open, and found a black pearl. Progression. He left. He progressed. He left it. The other one came and found it. He progressed. Or he could have said to them, keep your job. I'm taking my pearl. I'm going. He takes it home, puts it on the table, and leave it there. The wife said, why don't you do something about it? He said, if you want to, why don't you do it? Because I had a horrible day today. She cracks it open and he hears her screaming from the kitchen. And they both stand there looking at this. Progression. It comes in all shapes and sizes. So remember, you have a choice today and every day to give your best and make sure you're in progression. Because no matter which progress you want to take, Progression moves on. It does not matter. Do it. If you choose to stop doing, then you will still be progressing. Doing results in progressing, not doing re results in some progressing. Both of them. One is a positive progression and one is a negative progression. At the end of the day, can you ask yourself, what progression you took today but still this is october and many people sit at the end of the year many of us do that and we look at our life from the past 365 days or so and we choose to look at regret so can we say we have two months left and we did take some progression so do something today to progress and remember you cannot always take advice from somebody else because you have to do you you have to progress for yourself remember that because that is the only way you will find yourself is to take progression towards creating yourself and with this have an amazing and wonderful day I love you, I respect you, and I'm happy and grateful for each and every one of you. Even Arita, who is having a bath, and she has decided, hello, my dear, amen, hallelujah. Thank you, Kimberly, you are the best. Nancy, Kimberly, Arita, Georgie, Colin, Dawn, and Loretta, I appreciate you, I'm grateful for you, and I do love you. Remember, love you, is not the right thing to say. It's I love you. Put the name of God. I am who I am before you go. I'm happy and grateful for you, Tess Marie. So am I for you, Dad. You know that. We have such wonderful chats. Um, Yuko is not going to be here for us for a little bit. Her, her son is getting married, I think, next week. So her mom and her niece... And her brother is flying in from Japan tonight. So she's so excited. She can't even contain herself. And the wedding is, I think, I'm not sure of the date. But it's next week. Somewhere early or the weekend. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, and then, of course, those of you who didn't come early. Um, Stacey's 23-year-old cousin passed away from an asthma attack. So she wouldn't be with us for a few days. They're um, Orthodox Jews. So they have to do the thing. And then Nancy's friend, Lynn Gongen, who, we, who brought Nancy to the morning blessing, passed away from that massive stroke she had on Thursday. 
So, if there is somebody in your life you need to say thank you to, I love you, I appreciate you, I'm grateful for you. I like Colleen, my friend. We, we, we talk and sometimes we laugh so much and I we, something happens and it's funny and like I, it's funny things and you, you if you don't know me you'll think I'm mean I'm selfish and all that but when something happens I seem to laugh before I cry so it doesn't look like crying is one of my gifts so there was this amazing bowl that Michael used to have his cereal in when he was a young man at home and for some reason, I picked it out of the thing in a way that it slowed well and it went crash on the floor. <laughs> I looked at it and I went, oh, well, this is an end of an era. <laughs> I had to tell Colin about it. But this is the way, you know, so she, she just, you have to laugh. It happened already, right? So remember that. Do what you must do so that you can get to where you desire to go. And make sure you do, like Frank Sinatra said, I did it my way. When the time comes for somebody to question, why did you do it? Well, I choose to do it my way. And be bold, be, you know, and call a friend. Love you. Have a great day.